see, when I was in Cunningham Heights, under Chanel Taza, they had me in a, in a nursing home hospital situation with uh, a, a four of us, a, a four of us in one apartment, or three of us, and everybody was a drug addict except me. But whenever I got some mail delivered, it didn't come to Cunningham Heights. It went to Corona TSI mail room first for screening, like I belonged to the state. They was taking my whole entire social security check. And after they took my check, I was sharing an apartment with three of us drug addicts, one apartment in a two bedroom with filthy ass drug deal, drug addicts and pedophiles and shit and ex-rapists and shit. They had me there stranded on the door. Chanel Towns and Ramon De La Cruz. What they did was they used Ramon De La Cruz, who was like a minority to try to like ease your suffering. They went, that's right. And they used Crystal Matera as an inside person, TSI, who was very, very loud. I drew a lot of attention to basically substantiate we had mental problems in the apartment. That's right. Using his voice all day long, an Italian dude. Uh, that's right, to make sure people knew, were convinced that we had nutcases in that particular apartment. You understand it? That's how they keep smothering us, hiding us in New York State. The Italians thought it was a joke. And uh, Chris Matera was like, because it would be like a Thomas Young, excuse me, a Thomas Moore to me, whatever the case was. Once you understand that um, that particular warfare. And yep, that's how he drew it. That's right. He would scream at the top of his lungs. We had to deal with it. The people, the occupants, me, David Howard, and we couldn't do That was what it was. And then they take your entire Social Security check, and when they're finished with it, they give you like $138 for the month to buy you toilet paper and shit. That was the budget we lived off of. Food, every goddamn thing. But you believe that shit. And then when you get some mail, it goes all the way to Corona, where that old white lady from the Catholic Church screens your mail before you even get it. Like you're in a fucking nursing home or hospital or some shit. Like right now, I'm waiting for some to get it. They basically did this to me out of Creedmoor. You get it? And uh, one time, I got my 401k check from U Haul that I'm entitled to from hard work. Guess what? That old ass, I think her name was Mar- Margaret, like a tip of like, like uh, can- uh, brandy down the hall. They got me back in the same rodeo once again. They just have this glutton of power, these old white ladies, that I must be in the kindergarten program. They don't know how to stop. They put me on that howl doll shit to, to numb your thought process so you're like a big ass baby. So I got two checks when I was living. The dudes I lived with were drug addicts. They didn't get shit. You understand it? They wouldn't. They was they, they'd be fuck jealous. I had got three checks, one from Brian Prime from that car accident. You understand? Then I got my four hundred one cash in on that shit. Then I got a check for um um a, a class action lawsuit for being uh, treated like a felon at Rikers Island. And guess who put their white crusty ass Catholic racist old woman grandmother hands on my money? Margaret from TSI and Corona and said they got to decide whether they're going to give me my money or not. Does that sound lawful to you? Does that sound lawful? Does it sound feasible to you? You understand? And that's how they keep transferring me around with the support of the women of the FBI who want to only accuse me of rape, of threatening them, who, who get it? And cause you all that mental stress and aggravation to be very, very agitated and shit. And they'd want you to take that shit. Then I even told my brother about it. He was like, what? I said, yeah. He said, Jeffrey, how is somebody as a grown man supposed to live off 130? I said, James, this is what I'm going through. That's what I'm talking about. Then he called Miss Smith at Creedmoor, and he got on her case saying, how the hell is my brother supposed to live off 130, a grown fucking man, 
You get it? Eating up my check. And they subject as women. Subje then they subject you to apartment inspection. And shit like we fucking Nazi concentration camp prisoners and shit. Be some women, only the women coming into it and pick on you about the wires you got, whatever the case is. I don't listen to your smelly pussies. Basically, that's not a joke. It's look at me now, look at my health. And then Chris Matera, who didn't take a shower, we started picking up diseases on ourselves. We started growing like these, I don't know what the fuck it was, on your legs and shit. Like, like they were like moles or some shit, whatever the case was. Because see, that's another thing, too, to make sure you have hygiene lessons, to make sure you get hygiene lessons, to have poor hygiene, to have me live around people that I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? To you start to adopt lazy, but then when they brought in Cameron and Elmont, every time I brushed my teeth uh, and, made an, and achieved it, bam, she bang to where you get some sand. And to keep you in a trance to where your heart stops because you, you you know you don't you don't expect that your nerves are relaxed to you lose interest in showering, making you depressed and shit, just to convince people that I'm a mental illness psych patient. I'm not listening to you people. You need to let me go. But you went this far to try to prove that Afro Americans are a threat or dysfunctional people. Well, any time you kept my mother away from me since 1974, you found different mothers for me, and she was still, then you will understand it then, why it looks like that. Women who didn't develop the fantasy and, and probably trying to play it off like, we want to be uh, as a dope baby mother, but not seeing the real serious picture. You hate African-American niggas and you want us to die. And you keep trying to justify shit. Now you're trying to frame my, bro my boy from the CIA and my friends for destroying that apartment. Now, that I left behind, whatever the case is, you ain't getting out of it this time around. 